Hey guys, it's Lupe Jerry, and today in this video, it's gonna be a story time video. I never do story time videos, but I'm gonna start trying to do them, you know. Um, so if you guys enjoy it, if you guys wanna see more, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, so let's get into this. So this happened about when I was in fifth grade, I think, and um, so it was after school. Every day after school, um, Every day after school, me and my friends would always went to a library. But this particular day, only one friend went. Like for example, let's just tell, let's just name him. Let's just call him Jason. So me and Jason um always go. We always play on the computers and stuff, one v one on this game we play. Um, but this day we, we me and my other friends would always plus him we always go to this bus, this party city bus. It was like where all the crackheads live. Okay. And I have a weird story about that one, but I'll tell you guys later. Um, yeah, so after, um, there was nobody in there. There's usually people in there, but there's nobody in there. So, but there was always these two shipping containers right next to the bus. Like, it was sandwiching the bus. And, um, sometimes they're open. But that one time, um... It was open, and there was a shopping cart in there. So, my friend said to go get it. So, I walked in there, and I got it. But as soon as I walked in there, my dumb friend closed the door in about 100 degree weather. Okay, no, I'm around 80. So, I was stuck in a tiny shipping container that was super dark. And it had no air in there. So, it was about 120 degrees in there. I had my phone, so flashlight, but like I started sweating as soon as I stood in there. I couldn't breathe. I was in there for like about 10 minutes. I was actually, he, I was trying to see if he could hear me and um, I couldn't hear him. I thought he left me. So I freaking, I was like, I already know I was gonna die. I was thinking about calling 911. I don't know why, but I didn't. I just say that, you know, if I die, I die. This is the war. If I die, I die. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so I was there for about 10 minutes. I was legit about to have a heat stroke and pass out. Like I was a 70 year old man uh, having a heart attack. But, um, luckily, before that happened, I was freaking banging on the thing and I said I was about to call the cops. And, like, I wasn't. But I was just like, you know how when you turn on your notifications and you just start typing, like, do, 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 do. Like, you can hear that. Yeah. So, I did that, and then he got scared, so he freaking opened up the door, I walked out, and then, yeah, I was basically good, and after that, I walked out, and, like, I, he thought I was crying, I wasn't, I was sweating everywhere, like, I was sweating, sweating really bad, but, yeah, that's pretty much the story. After that, I like sat on the floor, like a little ledge, and it has saliva, so I sit on saliva. Super nasty. Oh yeah, and about that story I told you that I had a weird story. I'm just gonna say it now because it's super short. I'm not gonna make a whole video about it. Um, so one time me and my friends were just walking around, you know, like the same. It was me and that friend that I called Jason or whatever, not his real name, but and we had a lot of other friends. So um, we were just walking. And then, no, that's three of us. And we were walking. And then, <clears throat> actually, yeah, we were walking and we looked at the bus. We like we didn't know nobody was in there. And then we, my hero went in there with my phone, recorded, and then he saw the guy in there and he ran. The guy was awake. Well, feel like this is what he said. The guy was awake and just started staring at him, like right in his eyes. And. Yeah, that's basically much it. So then, whenever he walked outside, um, the guy, whenever we ran away, we went across the street, the guy that was there walked outside. I think exactly, they walked outside. Um, what's it called? They walked outside the bus. It was one guy, by the way. They walked outside the bus. And then after he walked outside the bus, he took a piss, right? We couldn't see. Well, like, we, he was taking a piss, but, like, he was, like, turned around. So we were just like looking at him weird, but like, we weren't looking, but we were just we just knew he was pissing. 
So then whenever we saw him, he was walking back. We looked to see where he was going. He had his schlong. He had his freaking cock out. Like, it was out, just there, gasping for air. Freaking walking with it out. Freaking walking like that one frog Pokemon. Just freaking walking. And then we saw it, and then we were disgusted. We were disgusted. And he just went back inside, and then I went home because I, 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 I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that was pretty much uh, two stories in one. Um, this is a little story I had to tell you guys. But, uh, yeah, if you guys like these story time videos, just uh, comment, like, subscribe for more. Um, I have a good amount of stories to tell. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Should comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.